Hey y'all, welcome back. We are in Medieval Dynasty and we finished a second house. So today we're going to go to Pistovia and we are going to recruit a couple of villagers so we can get one of them working in the woodshed which will get us some logs going so we don't have to grab all the logs ourselves. And at first, the villagers are really slow at picking up logs and whatnot. But eventually, they will improve. As their skills get higher, their production will get higher. So let's run on the other side of town. See who we have for villagers out there. you will find the people to recruit on the back side of Pistovia over here in these tents now remember in one house you could put a male and a female so let's see who we got here if you hold the alt, you can check their skills. So they're all pretty close to the same. How old are you? How is life this guy's 20. See you soon. So let's see how old this lady how can I is. Help you? She's 25. Take care. Sometimes you get a feeling that the most How can I help you? And he's 21. Alright, so. Let's see nice his day. skills again. Two, two, two. I think this guy was uh, all twos like also. There's of the cozy fire to make you forget you were sleeping outside tonight. Actually, this guy's got ones and one three. So let's grab this guy. How can I help you? And we'll grab this girl. How are you? Travelers of this realm are drawn to the bonfires like home. So we we'll grab them. Now we'll grab the tab key, go into management, and we're gonna go to our houses. And we got this one here is finished. So we grab this, throw him in there, and then we're gonna grab the same house. And we're going to assign her there also. Alright, so we got that. Now we need to go over and we need... I'm not sure if I've built it already or not. we got to get the well built. And get some food in the food storage. Because you have to have plenty of food, plenty of water for your villagers. And they also need firewood. But for now, let's just run over. I don't remember if I built a well. Or not. But we'll get him placed in the woodshed. To get started on creating some logs for us. And then if we haven't built the well... We'll build a well and put her in the well. Now, if we have any planks left, we'll build a uh, couple of buckets and fill them up to put them in the, wood, in the uh, food storage. Because as long as you got buckets in the food storage, then they have water. I don't believe I got the well built yet. So let's do that. Let's just put the well over here. Whoops, no building. I think it's under extraction. Yes, well, alright. Let's rotate it. Let's just put it here. Uh, number five for our hammer. And, well, of course, we need logs. 
Well, let's get him assigned to the workshop. So he's in the woodshed. We're going to have him do logs. And we're going to have to go put an axe in the resource storage. Why does it already say I have a well? I don't have a well. We'll put a couple axes in here so he can actually work. So let's grab a uh, stone axe. Let's throw half of them in there. He can get to work. Now, do we have any food we can stick in here? We've got a couple apples. Let's see what else we got. Do we have any roasted meat? we got dried meat. Let's throw that in there. Now they can eat that. We do have some roasted meat. Alright, so now they should be good on that. And we do have a bucket on us. What is your... What are you saying? I know the well's not finished yet. No worker. Thought I already signed you. Alright. Alright, now he's scheduled to make 11 logs a day. And now they need firewood, I believe is what that symbol means. So let's grab our bucket. And we're going to equip it. Pull it up with the 8. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill them both. Alright, now let's go throw this in the food storage. So that way they have food and water. Now let's see what we can do for firewood. Which means we're going to have to get some more logs. Hopefully we can accomplish this without getting attacked by anything. We need logs for firewood and logs for the uh, finishing the well. Cut up some firewood real quick. Okay, we got a new level of extraction. So we get a skill point for that. Let's grab this one. going to do 
turn two logs into firewood. That should get enough for one day at least. They shouldn't need that much firewood for one day. Because you get four firewood for every log. So let's do two. That'll give us eight pieces of firewood. Throw this in the resource storage for them. You can put it in each individual house. But I like to do it all in one central location. So let's throw the firewood in here. So we got 12 firewood. So now they should have firewood for the night. Let's grab our hammer. how many more logs we're going to need. Get our well finished. Now we can assign her to the well, but she's going to need plank uh, buckets. So let's make two planks. And we can create. Uh, we're not going to be able to make a bucket because we don't have the workstation yet. We need workshop to make buckets. Was I building a workshop? Yes. So let's see what we can do about finishing this. And of course, we're going to need logs as usual. And I don't know if he's producing logs yet. Take a look. Well, he's got two in here. So let's go into management. Let's go to our workshop woodshed. Um, let's up his production. Let's make him up to 100%. Okay, now he should be creating 19 and a half logs a day. So let's grab our skills. What do we have? We have extraction skill points. Forces of nature means we have less durability of our axe. You can do master of destruction, which will give you back resources when you destroy a building. We're going to go with the one with the less breaking of axes because we need that right now. Alright, so there's that. We now check our technology. We're almost to the unlocking the resource shed part two. We got the herbalist hut and a hunting lodge. We can do a barn. And we has unlocked the kitchen so we can do those buildings but with every building you need logs so we're gonna have to cross the river here because this is the safest place I know to try to cut down trees without getting killed by animals so let's just grab a bunch of trees Pick up the stones that are lying around too, because of course you're going to need stones also and sticks. Broadleaf plantain is good for healing you. So let's grab these. 
early game it is so hard to maintain enough logs to get your village going. That's why one of the first buildings you want to build is your woodshed. And get a person in your woodshed as soon as you can. Because it takes so many logs per building. And you basically, because in this version, there are a lot less maple trees, there's a lot less spruce trees, there's mostly birch, and birch trees only give you two logs per every tree. So it's much harder to maintain enough logs. Now we are in summer. get the garden going. I'm not sure if I plant it or not. I'll have to check. I don't believe I planted anything. I forget. back over. And you have to stop to take a drink. You can't do it like you did in the original version. You could run and drink while you were running. In this version you actually have to stop to drink. So let's focus on this workshop. I think we're going to have enough logs. We might have just enough, but we need more straw. So let's grab some straw. which is these reeds here. Come on, reeds, not water. reads. Get the workshop. All right, now our workshop's finished. So from here, take what we have for planks and build some buckets. Um, let's see, what do we have for planks? I think we have, we have nine planks. So let's grab some buckets. We're going to have to unlock it. So let's craft those. That'll give us four buckets so we can get her to work on doing the well. So let's throw the buckets in here. So now we can put her to work. 
work. So let's do that. Management, go to the well. We're going to assign her. Oh, we did it backwards. So well, we're assigning him. So let's just do a little bit because we don't want to run out of buckets. So let's just do a half a bucket, a quarter of a bucket a day. That way they got something to do. And they should be able to maintain keeping up with the water demand right this moment. Because we're not loaded with a lot of villagers yet. We're going to make some more planks. to make some, uh, finish off the other two houses we got here. I may want to move those closer to the road. Where am I going? I'm going to the resource storage and put the planks in there. We got a bunch of stuff we can sell at town, too. But let's, right now, just put the planks away. Alright, so let's see. I don't remember if I actually planted anything. Let's run across the water and take a look. Okay, so we did. We planted a few cabbage. That's good. Um... Now, I might want to move these two houses. They're in a line, but they're so far up the way from the road. So let's do this. Let's destroy this. Now go back to build. the houses. Nope, I don't want stilts. So let's do that one there. I mean, after all, this is medieval times. They weren't going to be perfect in line anyway. Alright, so we grab those. We got enough stone to do the foundation. get the foundation built at least. Alright, so now we got the foundation of two more houses going. We're also going to need to, we could get one more villager if I can get a husband. But that involves doing the romance, and that's not, you, it, you can't just like romance a guy in one shot and he moves in as your husband. It takes two or three days, because once you've talked to him a few times, they'll tell you sorry, they got to take some time, so you have to go back two or three days, and then they'll move in. But we got a good start, we got two villagers, we got our um, login operation going. We got our well going. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I want to thank you all for joining me. And please click the like and subscribe buttons. And have a great day.